Where's that other new man? I don't know. I thought I told you to go far. Get him, Olaf. Break every bone in his body. Search for him, Olaf. Search the ship and don't let him get ashore. Yes, sir. to the focus of Now you stay here until we get out to sea. And if you know what's good for you, don't try any monkey business. My ship. He's like you. He's been Shanghai. Riley. Come on up and keep guard. Sailor. If you help me get off this ship, I'll make it worth your while. Yeah? I've heard that before. This is on the left. This deal will make me plenty. Hey, uh, you talk like a guy that expects to come into some heavy dough. I'm working on a racket with a rich outfit named Geronda. It's going to pay heavy, Jack. So what? Where do I come in? You get me off this ship and I'll split with you. Listen, buddy, I've got an idea. Now, you just pretend that you're sick, see? I'll call this guard, and when he comes down here, I'll take care of him.
We'll wait, pal. Let's get going. Where do we go from here? To we'll find that fellow that had to be Shanghai. All right, show the way. a drink. You know what I want. What's yours? Beer. Hobart said it was okay. I thought you said he wasn't in. Oh, he don't want to be disturbed. Oh, he don't want to be disturbed, huh? can't go up there. No, no. Come on. What do you mean by trying to have me Shanghai? What are you talking about? I thought you'd get rid of me, huh? Who's he? Never mind him. He's a pal. That's more than you can say, you dirty double-crosser. Take it easy, Mitchell. I never tried to have you shanghai But if you didn't, who did? You've given Mrs. Rana plenty cause to have you put away. Say, if I thought... Say, that's an idea. You get her down here this afternoon and leave the rest to me. Nothing doing. I don't want any trouble around here. Hey, wait. You do as I say or I'll give the cops some information. Okay, I'll get her, dear. I guess you fellas don't need me. I'm going to get a drink. Okay, tell Steve to give you a couple of them. Thanks, boss. You're not cutting him in, are you? No, do I look like a sap? I got all I wanted out of him. I made a second trip to the Nellie D. <laughs> and you should have seen the captain's face. But he was all right after I explained to him who I was. Are you sure he didn't know anything about the fake Dr. Geronda? Absolutely, Jameson. The captain thought he really had an invalid passenger aboard. Well, what about this fellow Mitchell and, uh, why did they try to Shanghai him? I'll know more when I get a line on his fingerprints. And, uh... What transpires at Hobart's this afternoon? I see. I wonder what's keeping her. She ought to be here soon. When she comes, I'll have her set up. lady looking for me. When she comes, send her up to my office. All right.
I, uh, I have an appointment with uh, Mr. Hobart. Uh, right upstairs, room eight. Thank you. Jamison, get some water. Okay, Craig. How is he? He's done for. Just a minute. This is the water. There we are. Here. Try a little sip of water. All right. There you are. Feel better? Yeah. Say, is there any place we can take this lady? There's the room next door. Give me a hand there, young fellow, will you? Did she kill him? Yes, and this notoriety isn't going to do me any good. I warned Mitchell about that woman. We should pick some other place to do her killing. Guess I'd better phone for the police. That won't be necessary. Fine, how is that? What, you a cop? Mrs. Geronda didn't kill Mitchell. What do you mean? When Mitchell picked up the phone, this gun was fired by an electrical charge. How was that? I'll show you. Now, I'll show you, Walter. Mitchell was killed by the murderer placing this gun on this contrivance, this copper plate. Held in place by these books and attached, you notice, from the receiver of the telephone to the plate. Now then, when Mitchell heard the phone, he picked up the receiver which immediately discharged the bullet which killed him. I'll demonstrate it to you by pointing the muzzle of the gun to the ceiling. Now stand back, Walter. Watch. And that, Jameson, is just the way it was done. Then Mrs. Geronda didn't fire the shot. No. Mrs. Geronda was framed. By whom? By the man who rang that phone from the switchboard downstairs. Hobart, you're under arrest. 
for the murder of Joe Mitchell. Put out your hands, Wilbur. Oh. Jameson, take care of Mrs. Geronda. Call headquarters. 